One, two, three, four. Sam Cook classic. We got I've got basically a clean tally sound. I'm on the bridge pickup. And we're gonna be mainly playing the second, third, and fourth string. That's really where you want to focus this song on. We'll be doing A, a form of A. So we'd be playing fifth fret, second string, sixth fret, third string, and fourth string at the uh, seventh fret. And then we just lay it down onto the seventh fret for a D. Back to our A. Then up to an E. So we'll go up to the ninth fret. And then we're back to our A. To D. And then E, D, and A. All right, so that's the intro which is actually kind of the chorus and uh, a little bit of the lead. Um, so for the verse, the what they change up is from the A, he's going to go to an E7. All right, and rather than play that root note of E, we're going to be playing the fourth string. Like I said, we're playing 4-3-2. So we'll be playing these three strings. So we'll be at the 6th fret on the 4th string, 7th fret on the 3rd string, and 2nd um, string on the 5th fret. So really what you're changing are your ring and middle finger just between strings. And then you're back to A and D A and D take off so then you're into your chorus so really there's three strikes so it's a down, up, and then a down. Of course it changes there, but that's the main thing. So I notice what a lot of people do is they're playing the melody with the strumming. I mean, if, if that's what you're comfortable with, but again, the rhythm is more of a staccato. So anyhow, you get the feel of the song. It's really not difficult, and the rest of the song is pretty simple. So another easy song, but... God, it's, it's just so well put together, and the melody is great, and that's what I think makes a good song. So I hope that helps everyone. Enjoy.